the Meet Geek Gab Show, a regular vlog where I get to yak about news and reviews focused on video games, electronics, sci-fi, fantasy movies, TV shows, comic books, collectibles, and other geeky topics. Hi, uh, welcome to the Meat Geek Gab Show. I'm your host, the Meat Geek. Um, this is the uh, channel. This is the uh, show on official video videos representing AsavidNetwork.com, where I get to talk about video games, uh, combo books, science fiction, movies, and other geeky topics. Uh, how do you like my new Hobbit 3D glasses? Just got back uh, from the theater to see The Hobbit. It's a uh, obviously was a classic fantasy uh, movie based on uh, the Tolkien Peter Tolkien's classic novel. <clears throat> they call it the it was the first part of a th of a three part uh, movie series, The Hobbit: An Unexpected Journey, 2012, rated PG-13, and it according to International Movie Database, <clears throat> a younger and more reluctant hobbit, Bilbo Baggins, sets out on an unexpected journey to the Lonely Mountain with a spirited group of dwarves to reclaim a, um, their stolen mountain from home from a dragon named Smog. The course is directed by Peter Jackson, writers uh, Fran Welsh, screenplay Philippa Boyens, screenplay, of course, uh, Tolkien's classic novel, uh, stars Martin Freeman, Ian McKellen, and Richard Armitage. And uh, saw this uh, movie, and we have a review actually with my friend Joel. So stay tuned. We're going to now uh, review the movie from our point of view, and, wh and whether or not we recommend it for all you fans out there. Hello, this is the Meat Geek, uh, owner of Official Video Videos, representing AsifinNetwork.com, and uh, just doing a movie review with my friend Joel. We just came out of the theater, Wellington 8 in London, Ontario, see The Hobbit. That's uh, Peter Jackson's uh, prequel to The Lord of the Rings. Of course, it's based on the classic novel. And uh, I had a fun time, Joel had a fun time. Uh, yeah. So Joel, uh, tell me, in a nut, tell me uh, what your impression it's not going to be a fancy review. Just share your impression of the movie and then what, what, what parts you like the most. Um, I liked it a lot. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. What can I say? It was like a. It's part of a. It's part one of a three-part series. They're going to divide up. Yep. They're going to divide that little book into three parts. That's one thing I. I loved. I loved all the acting. Loved, uh, of course. Uh, Gandalf. Who's the actor who plays Gandalf? Uh, Ian McKellen. Sir Ian, Sir Ian McKellen. All the actors are great. Uh, Kate Blanchett as the Elven, Elven uh, Queen. Uh, Galadriel. Galadriel. Yeah. Galadriel. And, Galadriel. And uh, we had uh, the guy from Play B uh, in, in Agent Smith of the Matrix. The guy, uh, yep. Yeah. That guy played Elven. Elrond. Elrond. Yeah. Lord. It's a lot of great performances. I just, um, I don't know, it, it's just going to be interesting how they're going to divide that movie into all three, into three installments. But Hugo Hugo Weaving. Hugo Weaving, yeah. So, I, I had a lot of fun with it. A uh, lot has been, a lot has been, a uh, lot of hubbub has been made about the uh, increasing uh, F, uh, frames per second that have, that have been, uh, these new frames per second that all the 3D. We were wearing 3D glasses, but they also had an increased, uh, f a different film, filming technique. Mm. Did you find the, uh, some people found it irritating. Uh, I, I thought the filming was okay. Uh, did you find the camera work, uh, was, was the camera work okay, cinematography? The way that oh, camera I, I loved it. I thought that it was very fluid. Very I actually think that it's noticeably better than, as far as, you know, the cinematography I thought was actually better than the Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Now, for some reason... Um, how would I say it? It, it, it? I didn't get as deep of a feel as I did, and, and I, I want to. It's hard to say offhand. Yeah. <clears throat> from the point of view of cinematography and special effects, this is a, a noticeable mm -hmm. improvement from the trilogy. No two ways about oh, yeah. that. From the Lord of the Rings trilogy, that is. But I right oh, now, no. maybe it's the way. Um, it, it's not as. I don't know. It's hard to say. Did you find the hum the humor? 
demons, maybe, perhaps, they, they were away there, Amit, I mean, maybe not the monsters, but, but the way the humans were at, the, the dwarves, I mean, and the hobbits, when they were, when they were running away from the goblins, some of the animation looked a little bit strange, uh, hard to put words, did you find some of the animation of the, of the orcs at the times, a goblins, little bit, yeah. did you find the animation a little bit, almost, it looked a little bit artificial, or did you, was that just me? No, I did notice that it was a bit artificial too. Yeah. It didn't have the same um, as good of a feel for. Um, for some reason, it didn't feel as authentic. It, it seemed, I, it seemed more. Yeah, it seemed different than the Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings seemed darker to me. Yeah. Uh, this, this was almost like watching a Harry Potter movie. It was. It was like a dark child's children's movie. Of course. It could be expected because The Hobbit really was a movie, a novel written in 1937, written primarily for children. Right, right, yeah. And Lord of the Rings trilogy, the series, it came out in was, the 50s. Yeah, in the 50s, was, was aimed more on and could be a more at an older audience. So I'm just thinking it may be fitting for, for the story to be a little bit more uh, lighthearted. I found a lot more comedy relief with the dwarves. Yeah. And how they love to eat, love to have a good time. A lot of, lot of com, loads of comedy relief, which is good. It's like good to start the movie at a, you know, a lighthearted way. Uh, I just, I found, um, I found the character. Oh, got Can't, can't mention this. Can't finish this uh, review without having mentioning Gollum. Steven Zerkus, he, he makes the show, he, he steals the show when he's in it. He, he was so funny how he, uh, he's, he's schizophrenic where he's like, uh, he's split personalities and he's talking to himself and he's going, he goes absolutely berserk and, and hysterical when he doesn't have his ring. And that, and that was a, little, a lot of fun. And um, of course it was encouraging, it was kind of cool, cool to see the ring, you know, use of how Bilbo turns, puts the ring on, right? Yep, becomes it invisible. Becomes, becomes supposed to another, almost to another dimension, fourth dimension or something. Um, it's kind of encouraging. I like the message of Bilbo. Bilbo is a regular guy. He lives in a farm, right? And he, he overcomes his fear and he becomes a hero. So I like that story. Um, is, did, am I, did you notice uh, how they kind of added um, Saruman or Sauron? into the story. Oh, man, yeah. I think I don't think he was in the novel. They kinda inserted the character in there when they had the brown wizard. Where that was that I'm, I it's been a while since I read the novel. I read the novel when I was in high school. Do you uh, remember the brown wizard and uh, and Sauron? The the uh, no, I, no, I, he, the, the brown uh, was it, oh what was his name? The brown wizard. He was only mentioned I don't think he was actually mentioned in passing. It was almost like they were trying to fill in time or something. Uh, is it just me or they were? Peter Jackson has such. I want. I want, first want to praise Peter Jackson. He has incredible attention to detail, and he and I, I just respect him for that totally. But with that double-edged sword, he also goes overboard with the detail, adding almost superfluous detail. Yeah. So I, I, I found that it was interesting how. He did that, but, um, well, so, uh, we just want to end up, the, end this review. You're tired, tired, Joel. I'm tired, too. So, we're just going to ask, uh, I'm going to ask you, Joel, would you recommend this movie to, uh, to Hobbit fans, fantasy fans? Oh, yeah, I would. I mean, it was well written. It was, it was pretty well written. It was very well done, um, yeah. anatomically. Yeah. Um, you know, like, no, it was a great show. I, mm -hmm. I, you know, don't think it was as good as the... Yeah. Trilogy. Yeah. But it, you know, listen. I'm, look, I'm looking forward to seeing the dragon eventually, the battle between Smog. <coughs> um, I would heart, I would heartily, heartily recommend this movie to all the Hobbit, Lord of the Rings, and fantasy fans. Uh, just make sure you go to the bathroom before watching, and you have a, you have a ample amount of snacks because you will be hungry during those three hours that it was on. Yeah. So uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watch. Thanks for watching the Meat Geek uh, Gab Show where I talk about geeky subjects and make sure to like this video, add it to your favorites, leave comments below and subscribe. 
to this uh, channel if you enjoyed uh, watching this video. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, that's all for now. Good night.